Hi guys, hope you've been keeping well during this period. Um, today I'll be trying a few hair extensions, some pony extensions to see how they will look like on my hair. I know my hair is like kind of long already because of the circuit breaker period. I haven't cut my hair for 4 months, that's like about 2 inches it has grown. And before that it was like about here. And I ordered these extensions way before circuit breaker. It looks like it doesn't really need extensions anymore but nevertheless we are still gonna try. These extensions that I got today are really very pretty, no joke, life-changing kind of pretty. Uh, they are from Glit AF. Um, Glit AF not only does the glittery hair strands, right, they also sell <laughs> pony or phony, they call them phony. This looks really long, oh my god, damn! <laughs> if you're new here, hello, I'm Nicole and remember to subscribe, make a new friend as I'm your friend. And if you're OD here, Hey, welcome back! So glad to have you here and let's get started! This is the Sawiti, Sawiti? I don't know how to pronounce it but the name is over here, the Sawiti Pony and it's like wavy. For most of the ponies, you need to tie up your hair and attach the ponytail onto your hair, right? You need to tie the ponytail pretty high and pretty tight. So that is the trick. I have a lot of hair, oh my god. So. Personally, it's a challenge for me to get my ponytail very high. Yeah, I've been practicing for about a week already. At the start, it was very challenging because I don't know how to manage my hair. And I have this little air fringe going on over here. About until here, and you tie it securely. Okay, so this is what my normal ponytail looks like. My hair is long but when you tie it up right, then it becomes like short. I don't know why, it's the first world problem eh. So that's why we need the ponytails right. It comes with a velcro strap over here and I love this hair piece because it helps you cover all the mistakes that you make on the way. So when you put it on, it covers the velcro part and it looks like your own hair. Also, it's very important to get a correct shade match. And I feel like this shade match is pretty darn accurate. Plus, if you see here, this is the little like tooth comb where you need to secure it over here. So you need a little bit of practice. The first time you do it, you're gonna be like confused. But once you get a hang of it, it's pretty easy actually. Okay, so what I like to do, I will find a secure spot and I'll put it in first. And then I'll proceed to wrap the velcro part around my ponytail. The tricky part is going underneath because there's so much hair, right? The velcro might get stuck but it doesn't need to be perfect. It's very hard to spot any mistakes. This is one round and I'll usually do two rounds. Okay, um, so once you got it secured, you just need to take a few bobby pins and pin in the hair that you are looping around. And normally I will take about three. All the bobby pins are in. What do you guys think? So let me give you a look. I love it eh. Like, wow. I want to leave my hair this long and get this perm done. So moving on to the next pony, let's do the Ariana one. For the Ariana one, it's a little bit more tricky because it comes with a different system. This is like a bun clubs thingy where you have to pull to tighten your ponytail and inside they have four different clips. Um, this one took me a while to fiddle with because I couldn't figure out where the clips were and this ponytail actually comes in two looks. So one would be the long wear over here and then when you flip it over it becomes um, shorter. So you can choose to wear it short or you can choose to wear it long. I think the longer way is more flattering. You want to start off with a really tight bun. The tighter your bun, the easier it will be for you. And if you have shorter hair, it's also easier because you do not need to bun so much hair. Okay, so how I want to secure my bun is also with bobby pins because I think it gives it a more secure feeling. Also, if you want that really clean look, you can gel your baby hairs but today since I'm doing so many try-ons right, I'm not even gonna bother to go and like touch up all these frills. Normally if I want to then I'll be like, whoa, it's really clean and sleek. Okay, so we have a pretty secure bun and it's time to put on the pony. I'll wear it the long way. Pinning in 
in the rest of the clips in and then you want to hide the string so nobody sees it you can pin it in somewhere but oh my god can you guys see how big this hair is it doesn't even look like my style but um, it's because my bun is really huge too if your bun isn't this big it won't have such a high whoosh thingy I look like Flintstone's wife when I wear this hair this ponytail just looks like I'm a hot mum why is it like this? am I doing it wrong? am I wearing it too high? if I flatten it eh? This ponytail just gives you like so much volume, like no joke kind of volume. I'm just giving you guys a look. If you want better pictures, you guys can go check out their Instagram and see how those really chobu wear the extensions properly. I'm a mao pai huo, luan luan lai de. So uh, if it's like that, it's not bad, you see? Oh, like that, it's like, hmm, my hair is hot. Catfish, guys. They think you have nice hair, but you take off on here. Huh? That's it. It's not even your own hair. And they'll be like, oh, shook it. Okay, let's appreciate the pony. Okay, next, moving on to a more straighter, sleeker ponytail. Uh, we have the Candice Phony. So let's go try it on. For the Candice Phony, it looks like this. Um, same concept as the Sawati one, which is like a clip velcro thing plus the cover up hair piece. Uh, it's also very long. I specially asked Chloe to help me curl the ends. If not, it's just gonna be like a straight piece. So it's a bit wavy at the ends. You're not really supposed to curl it because it's synthetic hair. It's not real hair. So if you use your heat tools, right, it will melt. I don't know how she did it lah. She did it for me. So it's a bit wavy at the bottom. This one is also pretty nice because it's a very like um, sugar baby look <laughs> like daddy kind of vibes you know uh, Barbie doll doll-ish I don't know okay let, let me know your thoughts about like what each ponytail what vibes it gives off okay to see whether I'm feeling it right so the first one I think is it's very me the first hair I feel like it's my personality in a ponytail so it's like wow a lot voluminous messy waves curls so I feel the ponytail is really very me then the second one was very dramatic over the top polished I would like to go shopping every weekend kind of girl and then this one is just still quite cool very sweet I can be a good girl kind of feeling because I bun my hair, you can see this part is very high but if you don't bun your hair, it will be a normal like ponytail look so it's up to you how you want to attach the pony it's very long they also have other ponies that I don't own they have the Kim one and the Kylie one which I don't know what's the difference because I don't have them but if you're keen, you can go check them out Last but not least, we're gonna finish off with a hair extension piece. This one is called Extra, just to give your hair a little extra boost. Their pieces come in a packaging like this, you can see, glit. And then this one is called Wolfie Extra in shape chestnut. Good, good, good. The hair just commits suicide. Wow, eh, this is really smooth. It's also a four clip extension piece a bit larger than the usual ones I have that's because I think it's supposed to give you a lot of volume I think this is quite a close match to my hair ends right it's almost a spot-on kind of match ensure that all the clips are open first because you need to clip them later it's easier if you just open it like this part your hair into half if you want the extensions to be longer you can clip lower if you want it to be shorter you can clip higher so let me clip a bit lower because my hair is quite long so you section it off first usually i will clip the center pieces first you just need to clip it at the back and then at the side oh yeah the pieces are longer wider than i expected because it's all the way until my ear normally only ends like behind my ear so for those of you who have big heads, you might want to consider this piece because it really gives you a lot of volume. Oh my god, holy shit. Hey, this is really very nice. Eh? I would highly super duper recommend this. 
because look at how much volume and length it has given my hair but it's still very natural I mean you guys can see with the camera right you can see the difference right can you tell that I'm wearing extensions if I don't tell you guys I mean I put on a beanie and I look like Korean Zabo hold on I show you um, okay, I don't have a beanie right now because in Singapore we don't really wear beanies but I have this bucket hat Kawaii vibes Like you get what I mean? This hair gives you the very act cute feeling You think if I send this picture to James, he will notice anything? 10 upon 10 Okay, I've come to the end of my try on hair extension hair pony video Hope you guys like it If you want to see me try out other things, do let me know I really want to try out those colourful wigs, the like Blonde, pink, teal, uh, the one that looks like Xia Xue and that kind of wigs, yeah. So, if anybody have lobang, please intro me. I would love to try that. All the pieces you've seen today are from my friend's shop, Glit AF. I will link the deeds in the description box below. And before you go, remember to like, subscribe, share this video if you want to. If you don't want to, nobody can stop you. Bye, take care, stay safe, love each other. <laughs>